bench on were just boom. No five minute countdown, no nothing. <laughs> Are we okay? Are we good? Can you see us? Can you hear us? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thanks everybody for hanging out with us today. Hope, hopefully you can hear me and see me. I'm going to say hello to, to Gwenny and June and Pat and Mike and Mike is on. Yep, it is. Hard to hear you. Oh, Mike is on. Hold on. Yeah, is there another button switch on here? No. It's not reading the second bar from this one. You know how it normally does? It would it doesn't normally read the second bar? Because the second bar there is for life. So you always know what the other one is? Yeah. Okay. Normally it does. And I had it clicked in. Not those little buttons aren't doing anything. Yeah. yeah. Too. The bar is there. Well, that was that was see that was uh, oh I guess so. Yeah. Okay, that was good. Oh oh oh. Careful. <coughs> well, we're going to be better now. You're standing there. Oh. Uh oh. Hmm. Uh. Yeah, no, that's exactly right, Gwenny. I can't hear you either. <laughs> I can see, I can read you though. I wonder what that. Um, hmm. This has got some button on here. Oh, I'm not getting in the button mode. Yeah, but it's really low. Oh no, it's okay. Maybe it was just a delay. I'm sorry, I'm missing everybody who's coming in. Oh, you don't need me that close up. Oh my goodness. Um, yeah, they're like there's in here, but it's quite low. Hmm. Let's just see. We, we, yeah, we should have tested the. We had a little test stream on Facebook earlier just to do the camera. Can you hear now? Now is much better? Okay, well, well, we'll make sure we got everything's all good. It's very soft. Hmm. Better slightly, says Josie. Just a little bit. Da, da, da. <laughs> Milton, I hope everyone is having a good day. I am doing well. So thank you, Miss Kathy McIntyre. Happy to see you here. Big hugs to you and Miss Jo Marie. Whenever you see it, give him a big old squishy hug, please. <laughs> it's low but better than before. Hmm. I can see you and hear you. Perfect. Okay, well that's good. That's good. Hear me now. The ladies in the house. Yes, it's very low. Just crank up the volume. <laughs> Drop it like it's 1999. <laughs> sorry, sweetie. Oh, sorry. Okay. Well, um, I'm in the process of catching up from being sick. Laundry, canning, tossing things that hubby kept for some odd reason. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I hear you. At all either. I um, I felt really bad. 
uh, for uh, Pop because his birthday was uh, Sunday. And I got up, I made him uh, bacon and eggs, and we had croissants and fruit. And then pretty much the rest of the day, my lower back was really hurting. Uh, like my my hippie zone like you know butt butt upper butt cheek sort of thing you know and, and then my stomach started going a little blah 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 and it was it was not a good week it was not, it was not a good week I didn't even come out here at all so picture is foggy hmm okay well we're, we're tweaking we're tweaking the camera so give it give it some time <laughs> it's okay, Robin. <laughs> <clears throat> Nadine says now she can hear. Well, that's good. Book it, but picture looks a little washed out, says Mike. Good evening, Catwell. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, cheers, cheers. Found a teddy bear. Is now hanging out with his little elf buddy? Can Hello, Joe. Turn off the fan. Gotcha. Hello, Kaylin. Hello, hello. Hello, hello, Lena. Thank you, everybody, for the happy birthday wishes. <coughs> that was really nice. Thank you. Thank you. Greatly appreciate that. It was lovely. Lovely of everybody to wish me a happy birthday. And today, thank you very much. Yeah, big 5 0 yesterday. 5 0. I feel like I'm a Hawaii show or I should have like superhero cape or something, some sort of theme song. Oh, no, we gotta do this. <laughs> <clears throat> it was a very yucky day. It was a very yucky day. And I, and I, in my, of not being comfortable most of the day, I forgot to go to the store and get breadcrumbs. And I was supposed to make pop mashed potatoes, veggies, and schnitzel, right? Which you need breadcrumbs. I didn't have any, of course, because we're like, you know, only just start trying to restock the pantry and stuff like that. We haven't had a need for breadcrumbs yet. Um, when I made the meatloaf, I just used the other half a package of the soda crackers. So that's, you know, I put that and mashed those up and put those in there. So, um, so anyways, I totally forgot until I went, like literally mashed potatoes were done, ready to go. It was time to make the schnitzel and I realized I didn't have any breadcrumbs. So Pop's like, just shake them, bake them, put them in the oven. And then of course I felt bad because I didn't do it right. And it's like, ah, but at least he had birthday cake, and that was good. And he's pretty much enjoyed it all week. I have, I, I had one little bite last night because I thought, oh, my, maybe my tummy could handle it, and it was okay, thank goodness. So, but, yes, thank you. Thank you for all the happy birthday wishes for both of us. I have some lovely flowers. Oh, my arms were so full when I came out to the to the shop. I forgot to bring your flowers, Miss Helly. Maybe um, maybe I can get Munchkin to bring them. Yes, we did. We put it up last Sunday. That was that was our other project we were working on. Was a mailbox. They're practically creative. So yes, yes. yes. Hello, Miss Lois. She's getting her uh, studio back in order. And Miss Allison. Hello, 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 everybody. I'm sorry for uh, when you first came in. We didn't have any sound or anything, and it was it was sound or very low sound, and I missed everybody coming in. So hello, hello, Chloe. Hello, hello. Uh, hello, hello. Miss Helly, you're doing a fantastic job of welcoming people into the group and wishing them a happy birthday. I mean, we don't pay you enough, I'm telling you. <laughs> no, seriously, we don't. <laughs> and thank you so much. Uh, no, no Sophie Cam at the moment. She's actually over here on her brand new big bed. I took a picture uh, that was um, uh, put onto the... the the mama pop quilt shop stuff uh, of her in her in her new bed. So she's here like literally just her eyes are closed. She's napping. She's on a nice big bed. Nice big bed for her. So uh, we will hopefully for next weekend. But she's here. She's she's chill. when she wakes up or you know wants a little bit of attention. I'll, I'll, I have a C O O K I E here for her. So so hello everybody. Hello hello. No, we don't have snow yet. We there was a big thread of it last weekend, and we're in for minus four degrees tomorrow I think it is so there could be a chance of snow but other than that no we're, we're about nine degrees right now windy as all hecky majecky man let me tell you they gotta utilize the power of the wind here because from last weekend when we literally quit stream we went into the house it started to rain and then the wind was just whipping over 100 kilometers an hour and for days not just, oh, it's going to be a couple hours. We're talking days, that wind of over 100 kilometers an hour. And just, and sideways rain, like just little sheets. You're just, it's it was unbelievable. I'd never felt that much weather, like 
Mother Nature weather, I mean, especially on a house that's strange to us too. It has a steel roof, so it sounds good. Things are going to sound different, a little bit more dramatic, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but, you know, still, it was like, I was like, we still got a roof? Are we are we off to like the Wizard of Oz? Should we be getting our little red shoes? What's happening here? It's kind of it was kind of kind of scary. Oh, bye, Lee. Take care. Hello, Nancy. Hello, hello. There's a setting that I need to change in the camera. Oh. So oh. I don't know what this is gonna do. Okay. Well, I hope you heard that. Pop's gonna change the setting. He doesn't know what's gonna do. <laughs> Kaboom. <laughs> so let's look at the ceiling for a minute so I can oh, see. Oh yeah, this. let's look at the dirty ceiling. Oh, there we go. Lovely. Now you can see the lights I, I I've got. So, if one could paint a ceiling, what would one paint a ceiling color besides white? <clears throat> That's what I'd like to know. Hello, Miss Bernadette. Hello, Lynn. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, Sass. Hello, Vicky. Hello, other Vicky too. Uh, no, Walt, I haven't even heard back from them. I literally was feeling like, like literally five pounds of, you know, poop in a two pound bag. It was not a good week, but I feel a whole lot better now. Today, yesterday was a good day. Half day was a good day. So far, today's a good day. So, white, light gray. Oh, I like light gray. Gray, light blue. Ooh, light blue. Mm, blue and fluffy cows. I'd go to nap. <laughs> I'd be like, looking at the stars or... You know, looking at this guy. That's a good idea, though. <clears throat> Porches in the south are always light blue. Oh, really? Oh, that's interesting. Whoa. That's color. Wow. That's saturated with yellow. Yeah, now i got to fix it on the other side. Soft cream. Mmm. That sounds nice, too. Uh, it was good. It was a good steak dinner. Pop cooked the steak perfectly. I made the, fo the, the focaccia bread. turned out amazing. Um, and then we just roasted potatoes. I didn't have any butter or anything on mine. So. Metallic blue. Ooh. That looks better. Careful. Careful. Does it? Looks very yellow. Okay. All right. No green. <laughs> Yeah, well, we're working on it. We're still tweaking. <laughs> we're still tweaking. We're still tweaking it. <laughs> About 400 settings on this. We're, we're figuring it out. We're figuring it out. The <laughs> bean cream for that. So, sunny yellow. Was that? that sounds nice. That sounds nice. Yeah, no, I, I took um, some pizza dough instead of making pizza with it. I um, got it to room temperature because there's a bit of yeast in it. It's not, it's not a lot of yeast. But, um, and then I just kind of, you know, with, in the olive oil and just kind of, you know, spread it out as you do with focaccia bread and then sliced up some fresh, um, mushrooms and fresh, uh, cherry tomatoes, but quartered the cherry tomatoes so they can, so if they weren't bursting, if they didn't burst, yeah, I, I hate that when they burst in your mouth and it's so hot. Um, but, um, so yeah, and then, the, and, but just salt and pepper and olive oil, that's it. No, no cheese, no sauce, no nothing else. And it turned out really nice. I'm, really now it's, whoa! <laughs> it's sleepy time! <laughs> We're tweaking it. We're tweaking it. <laughs> Hello, Nina. Welcome to the chat. Hello, Dolores. Hello, Elizabeth. Who turned out the light? Hello, Angela. Hello, Christy. Hello, hello. Hello, armchair detective. <laughs> yeah. I gotta love it. Tweak it. Gotta tweak it. <laughs> Hello, Kelly Cruises. Does it look like uh, we are dark. We are dark, we are dark, we are poking in the dark. Oh, maybe I shouldn't be saying that song. <laughs> leafy, green, leafy quilt stand up. <laughs> it does, doesn't it? Yeah, the, the panel. Lights out nap time. Pretty much, right, Mimi? <laughs> Hello, Sandra. Hello, how's Dallas, Texas today? Try the two-ingredient dough and it's so good. Oh, is that for pizza? What's a two-ingredient dough? Well, it has to have water and flour, right? Quilting in the dark. It sounds like a song, right, Wendy? <laughs> Hello, Suburban. Welcome, welcome. Yoga moment. <laughs> um. Uh, I'm loving the new place. Loving it. I just wish I would have had a better week. Feeling wise, I would could have got a lot of stuff done in here, but I was, like I said, I was feeling like, no, no go. 
And you know me, I got energy, I got stuff to do, I want to do stuff. I, I had nothing. I had literally had no, well, because it couldn't keep anything down, so I had no energy to do anything, so. And it took me a few days to try and figure out what was wrong and try and get some stuff to aid me, so. A little bit of snow in Belgium. Oh, wow. There's snow over a few places. They said the um, uh, northeast is probably going to get some this weekend for sure. We have a 12-foot tree. I'm looking for it today. I have a 12-foot tree. Oh, okay, gotcha. We got ours. It's actually just on the other side. I was trying to figure out whether I wanted to put it up in here or put it up in the house. So I kind of want to put it up out here, right? Because you guys would be able to see it. Pardon me? It looks pretty good, actually. What do you guys think of the color? It looks all right. Pizza, scrolls, focaccia, whatever you use dough for. Oh, really? Awesome. Awesome. Yeah, you should share that if you haven't already. Oh, 12 inch. Oh, I thought you meant 12 foot. I'm sorry. I always get those dip -dip pop mixed up. He's a pop who's in the dark all the time, says Lois. Most times he is. <laughs> Thank you. I'm feeling much better. Like, from... From Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, actually Monday, Monday too, like, only Thursday was I starting to feel a little bit, you know, color is good now. Yeah, I thought so too. There's still like a hint of yellow for the back, but it's, the walls aren't white, let's just put it that way. <laughs> Getting ready for Christmas, doing Thanksgiving today. Oh, very nice. There's lots of people that are doing Thanksgiving today, just because they can, um, uh, get with family better. I have to go into my sewing room and trim all the strings on my flannel quilt. Oh, flannel phrase a lot. Yes, it does. Oh my gosh, Pat. Yes, it does. Miss Sophie is fantastic. She's she has. The, we have an electric fence to to keep the cows in. Well, not our cows, but like we've talked about it before that there's a gentleman using part of our land. And though he says they're not going to be near the house before winter or they'll be like possibly spring, spring next year, but we plan to move the fence. So when we first got here, I thought it is electrified when it is, uh, when it's, there's got power to it, right? It does look like an electric fence. So I kept trying to keep her away, keep her away, keep her away. But she keeps, now she keeps getting closer and closer. I'm like, oh, maybe she won't have to learn that it's, you know, electrified before it gets, uh, you know, shifted back a few, few, uh, a few bits so we can put up a greenhouse. So mm -hmm. Curtain over the window. Oh, is it, I should put a curtain over the window? Oh. I want to make the, what, like, uh, Robin, or I said, like, craft it for her windows, like her, her curtains in her room, all scrappy and patchworky and really funky and cool and looks like stained glass as it comes through and, you know, you can do all sorts of shapes. Like, I thought about doing, like, a stained glass, like, putting black in between and just, you know, a bunch of, you know, materials and stuff, but I want to use my scraps so I can see them. I've got a few windows to cover, so I thought that'd be kind of cool. She only hit it once or twice. Yeah, that's all it takes. Apparently, the neighbor's dogs, they're little ones. I've seen, I finally seen them this week. I hadn't, I've heard them, but I hadn't seen them. So I didn't know if they had big dogs, little dogs, or whatever. But they're, they're little, you know, little pint signs, petunias sort of pups. And, and uh, so, yeah, yeah, it was, she said they learned. <laughs> so, whoops. Hello, Elaine. Welcome to the chat, everybody. Uh, one cup of flour and two-thirds cup of Greek yogurt. That's it. Oh, well, it would have the moisture, the acid needed to uh, activate what is in the white flour. That's a good. That's good. I'll have to try that. Definitely. Need some scraps? No, <laughs> I have scraps. We're good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sassolet. We'll do a count, remember? 675 in, a, in this bag. <laughs> Miss Gwenny um, sent me an article that she does for her uh, local quilt um, paper. And uh, it was talking about panels and stuff. And, and uh, yeah, I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. And, and it is, is what do you do with a panel? It's so confusing. People just don't know what to do with them, right? They buy them because they like them, but they don't know what to do with them. So we've done quite a few videos. I use crumbs in a larger bit scraps for my green. Yeah, yeah, because you just want a little bit of this and a little bit of that, right? So put it on, uh, put, uh, put it in the house. Oh, you have not had a Christmas in forever. Make your home special. <laughs> there we go. That's a good idea. I could get a smaller one or something. 
Yes, I don't need that. I can, I can bring some of the other decorations out here and put them up behind or something. So. Mm -hmm. Did you have a Sonia? I just finished binding my last quilt. I have material for up to seven new quilts, deciding which one to start cutting. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh, Caroline, rather chilly here in Ireland today. Oh, really? Oh, really? Oh, is Miss Helly still dealing with her? her I, I don't know how to do my job, contractor. Yeah, how are you doing there, Kelly? Like I was asking, I was wondering. Hello, Miss Deborah. How you doing? Aren't they? I know they're so pretty, aren't they, Nadine? They're they're. Rob's windows are gorgeous. I love when the light shines through. Hello, Cheryl. Hello, hello. Hello, Niku. How you doing? How you doing? Hello, Deborah. I'm making a quilted throw for my daughter from a uh, white tiger bed. Oh, I think I saw that on the 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 the, the home the mom and pop show, uh, page. Very nice. Mm -hmm. Made curtains from hundreds of tiny squares from her for her brick windows. They are, oh, I bet. Especially the consistency of each square. I can see that being very pleasing to the eye. Both in both ways. I like the whole scrappy craziness of it because it it kind of plays with your imagination and you try and you see things in the way the fabric's laid out, like you know whatever bunny rabbits and clouds or something. But I love. I also like that consistency of a square to a square to a square, lined up prettily and nice, and you know, horizontal and vertical, and everything. Mm -hmm. Oh, Taylor, what's going on? Yes, yes, yes. I had I had a great birthday yesterday. It was it was good. Pop and I puttered out in the afternoon because I was feeling much better, and we found him a nice chunk of wood that he can build a uh, desk for his work, laptop and monitor and all sorts of stuff like that, so we're, we're excited. Probably going to be working on that tomorrow because uh, he needs it for this week. He's been twisting and turning and twisting and turning, and he's getting a sore shoulder, and yeah, so we need to, we need to sort that out for him. So. Yeah, but we did get the whole mailbox um, sorted out, so we will... Uh, be sharing the uh, address to the Mama Pop Quilt Shop uh, studio here, uh, but it will do it via our uh, web pages. Okay, so those who want to know can go and discover it. Mm -hmm. Well, that's it. All the memories and the colors, right? Exactly. Hello, Kelly. Thank you. Thank you. It was yesterday. We can we can party. Hey, it's fifty. We can party for a few days with the fifty. All right. <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. Okay. Uh, what we're doing today is we're going to make some fabric stars. Okay. So this is one that's out of a four inch strip of about 17 or 18 inches long. There's four of them there. Okay. And then this one is out of a three inch strip. Okay. So the principle is the same. You just fold it if you wanted to. I got, I have one of these as a keychain, and some parts of it is actually sewn. I think because it was gifted to me as a keychain, it had uh, a little hook up in through like one of the little loopies things here, or I don't know, I can't forget. I wanted, I was trying to find it and I just couldn't um, for for today, so I could have showed you what you can change it into. And uh, oops, 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 folded, I folded. Anyways. Um, Yeah, I tried to uh, tried to find the one, but you don't have to sew. This is just literally a tuck and fold. I've I've seen it done with paper. I've seen it done in uh, the kindergartens for little uh, Christmas ornaments for their parents for Christmas, uh, or the kids were doing the ornaments for their parent for their uh, you know loved ones or you know classmates or whatever like that. So it's just a matter of the same principle as what you fabric you're using with uh, paper and vice versa. So. Yeah, we're going to make a couple of those. I guess you make a big one. You can use those decorations all the way around your house. You probably use a five inch strip, just make the uh, thick strip and then just make it longer and, and then just play with it at that point in time. You're just folding and flopping. You're going to trim some stuff off and tuck it anyway. So it's, it's all going to work out. 
What's everybody doing today? Everybody have a good Thanksgiving? I saw lots of spreads. It was looking delicious. Absolutely delicious. I like the bigger one. So I did this one out of flannel, so it's really thick. And I just really liked the pink elephant fabric because, and well, it's obviously gray elephants in there too. But to me, Christmas isn't Christmas without a couple of pink elephants running around, let me tell you. <laughs> yeah, I thought it was cute. cute. So we'll put it in our tree. We'll put it in our tree. And then I made this one. And then we have this one. And the only needle I have is to put the floss through like the top section to hold it together. And so you got, got yourself a little string. That's it. So, and that's two color one. This is a one color one, and this is a four color one. So just kind of show you uh, a little bit of the difference of, you know, if, what you want to make. And it's super easy. And you can do this with friends at a, you know, a, a, a dinner party or just like a little craft party, something easy for them to, to partake in. So I wanted to share with you, I was looking through this stuff. This was one of the very first kind of ornaments I made with munchkin way back when, I don't know where its little tie went, but we sewed around the outside and then we just glued. You can feel how hard, like you can hear how hard that is, it's glued. It's just glued little bits of fabric because I didn't know there was probably any heat and bond or there wasn't any at that point in time. And same with the pom-poms for the beard. So I'll, I'll put that there for a second so you guys can see, give, give me a chance to switch it. Isn't he cute? <laughs> He's all like hard as a rock. <laughs> so it's been a while. It's probably about 20 year old, 20, 25 year old. Little, uh. Yes, it did. Yep, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, a Christmas tree ornament there. So, and his whole face is glued on. The face is hard. He's got googly eyes. <laughs> like, oh, good memories. We'll take him. We'll take him. Yeah, thank you. All right. I was going to say you could just leave it there because we're going to start folding this. So. Mm -hmm. Australia is a huge, huge country. So what I have here is the strips of fabric. I got them four inches wide and about 17, 18 inches long. And, and then from there, okay, you just want to, you can do, like I said, four, four different ones, four the same, two and two, whatever. We've got some lovely little fabrics we're working with here, okay. There and there, okay. And I'll show you the big ones so you can see it. It's got some uh, blue reindeers with some snowflakes. We've got some gray and blue with some snowflakes. Got some uh, leaves with red and gray or gray blue. I think it's more on the gray side. And then this is the same, same uh, pattern, winter gardens, except in the shades of blue. Uh, stuff I haven't cut yet, but maybe will today is some nice soft blue um, snowflake fabric and then we've got some cute mittens here mittens and chicken uh, chickens mittens and chicks or birds okay and then we've got some uh, other blue with I don't know looks like a snowflake sparkle I don't know firework I don't know you call it what you want to call it and then we've or I've got last uh, I had a whole whole bunch 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 of this I made many many things with this and this is the last of it so I've got a few pieces of that too to go as well so aren't they some pretty fabrics so welcome everybody welcome 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 yeah we're just gonna plug away at a few little ornaments no sewing just have some fun chillax relax maybe have a have a, a little uh, giveaway but Pop's working on things, so give the man some time. That, that, well, that, yeah, it is. It, it, it literally is. I'm, I, it's probably, I was trying to think of it because I was like, oh my gosh, I glued this. When was that? And I think that was living when we lived in Philadelphia, uh, outside Philadelphia in Harleysville. And Munchkin was only two and a half when we were there till he was six. So it was somewhere in there. It's probably about 22 years old. Yeah. So I would like, and it's glue. There's a big chunk of glue stuck right back. I don't know why I thought glue was the answer. And stuff. <laughs> Just glue it. Can't sew it. Glue it. <laughs> See, either that or duct tape, I guess, was the, the, the issue. But I know. Just good memories. Good memories. That's all. Good fun. Okay, so you take your strips. Get back on focus here. You're going to fold them in half and give them an iron. 
And then you're going to take that again, that line that you're going to make as a crease, you're going to fold in, fold in, and then do this. So you're going to pretty much do that. At this point, if you wanted to, you could sew down each edge. That up to you. That that's totally up to you. You don't have to, okay? Because these ones I did not, I did not sew. If I was giving it as a keychain, or I was linking it something to maybe for a jacket, or like a pull tab for like a backpack, or a lunchbox, or something you know special that you know somebody special fabric they like you know, uh, uh, you know Batman fabric you made them a little Batman star you know what I mean like it, it's 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 whatever. Um, I I would probably sew it definitely sew it yes. Give it, give it some security and maybe whip a few stitches and stuff like that. So, mm, Pretty fabulous. That's good. That's good. I'm glad you guys like them. So we make a few stars today. My daughter is going to put up the village house on the mantle and Ferris is fascinated by it all. I bet. I bet. <laughs> uh, no, these are four inches. Four inches, Miss Sass. By about 17 and a half. Yeah, four inches by 17 and a half. They should, they, should, they should do the trick so let's let's uh, I've already got one set folded here so we can just kind of layer out so what you want to do is you want to kind of line it up and fold it over itself but give it like a two and a half inch you know down from the other so it's not completely even okay and you want to do that to all of them Lay them this way first. So you kind of get them all even. It's not an exact science. You don't have to like put a pin in it or you know like. It's just you'll see as we get there. It's got a little bit of a play to it. So. And these are fun. It's super easy. And uh, once you, once you get the whole where you got to fold and so on and so forth, they're they're, they're good. They're good fun. Okay. All right. So we got our four little strips. You want to say hi to everybody? <laughs> Let's just move that out of the way, shall we? Oh, what's this? What's Mama got? What's Mama got? Hey, eh? you gotta come up and say hi. You gotta come up and say hi. Say hi, everybody. Hmm? In a minute. You're not starving. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Yeah, it's a cookie. It's a good cookie for Roby. Okay, I'm not rolling over that, so you better keep up all those crumbs. <laughs> Dang, good job. Oh, no, you missed some. It was right, right there. Yeah, there you go. I did good, girl. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Do I show them your dirty ball? Okay, come here. Show them, there you go. There's my dirty ball, people. Here's my dirty ball. <laughs> that I dirtied my brand new bed with. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I was just gonna go and pout and, and lick it. She found it in the yard. It's not her ball. Well, it's her ball now, but it wasn't originally her ball. <laughs> she found a few toys in the yard. She scored here, let me tell you. Okay, so what you wanna do is you kinda hooking them in. You, you're starting off making the center square here, okay? And as you can tell, it's just woven. We're just weaving fabric. It's like there's origami uh, flowers that do the same thing. So, and or flowers or stars. Sorry, uh, that is pretty much the same principle. It's just matter of, matter of folding and then and and then tweaking it. Mm -hmm. Is everything okay? Yeah. Okay. We got like. I'm trying to see what you're doing. So oh. I know where to do things. Okay. I'm on the desk desk. <laughs> okay, and then we're going to go like this, and we're just going to loop them. Okay. And then here, I'm going to put this one through the last one. Okay, you see that? 
So if we need to command, uh, like what? <laughs> I know she's so sweet. She's been such a good buddy all day. Okay. And then what we want to do is we want to kind of pull these all snug till it forms a nice square. Okay. So we're just going to go a little here, a little there, a little, little here, a little there. Okay. And eventually we work it into a square. Okay. And do it snug. Do try and do it as snug as you can. Sorry, I'm fiddling. I got itchy nose. Okay. Kind of even this one out a little bit. Okay. It just takes a little fiddling. You get, once you get used to it, it's just a matter of just working the fabric. It's not like it's, you know, something extra you got to do. It is. It is what you got to do. Try and keep your strips nice and straight, not folding over each other, but still snug enough that it's going to stay together and not fall apart. Okay. Oops, I think I forgot to put this one through here. Let me put the one one strap in. That's right, it was my that was my mistake. Sorry about that. We had the one strap in. Go now. At this point, once you get it to here and you got your little arms sticking out like this, and it's as snug as you you are comfortable with. Like I said, this is a point where you can pop a couple of stitches. Uh, not anything from the outside. If anything, just do it onto the inside because you're going to have to use some of these pockets to be able to fold and tuck fabric in. Okay, so none none of the outside ones. If anything, just kind of do a little stitch of marooning in the center. Taunt. Make sure it's taunt, but not too tight that it's folding in on itself. All right. So now, at this point in time, you flip it over. Okay. Now this one comes back. This top one. You're only using the top one. This one comes over. This one comes up. And this one comes over. But this one gets tucked under the first. Okay. And this is where either a chopstick or a little poking tool or as I got with my bag of batting, a stuffing tool, poker, thingamabob. <laughs> okay. And then again, do a little tug tuggy to make sure things are nice and snug. Okay. Super easy. Now you have four folded corners or squares on one side and four folded on the other. So now what I, th that's literally the hardest part. I thought is the hardest part right there, just trying to get those where they needed to be. So turn it so you have a pocket on the lower side. You see that there? Like it's on the lower side, the, the thicker part of the fabric is at the top here, and you want it on the lower side. So you take this bit right here, and you're going to fold it on a 45, 45? Is that right? 45? And you can see that right there, and then you're going to fold it again this way, okay, and then across, and then this is where you line this up. See, this is why the, the, the amount of fabric, you know, 17 inches is clearly way too much, but I was just trying to make sure I had, had, had enough. Um, once it's there, you take it as the measurement, you want to tuck it in ha this one little uh, patchwork. Uh, worth right here, okay? So you measure it up to where it matches with the blue, okay? And then you just snip the extra off. And then take that, still when it's still folded, and then push it through that little gap I was I pointed out beforehand. And you get yourself a nice star point. So I like doing this one, this one, this one, and this one, and then flipping it and then doing the other set. The key point is, is to make sure you have the curve going into the inside of the square and the nice strong flat outside here, this, this point here, because that's going to help form all your stars. So again, making sure my gap that I need is at the bottom of where I'm working, 
taking my fabric, I'm folding it as into a, a triangle on the side, always going to the back, flip to the back, never to the front. Flip to the back, fold it on itself so it makes a point like you're doing like uh, prairie dog ears or like you're, you're trying to bind around a corner and then flip it over on itself here, make sure it's nice and snug. Okay, and then lining it up, this time we're going to cut it where it starts with the red. Okay, because we don't want it going farther than just that one section of fabric we're working with, the little patchwork. Okay, and then back in, take your thumb, and then push the fabric in to that little pocket. If you need help with it, if your maybe stuff is too tight, or you're doing smaller pieces instead of, you know, the, the, the four inch that we got going on here, then, you know, Feel free to use a use a tool to help you, okay? And then again, same principle, making sure my gap is at the bottom, flipping to the inside, uh, outside, the back, and then flipping this down to make a nice sharp point, and then flipping this here, and then lining it up with the gray visually, okay? Give that a little snip. Of course, you can always save these for all little other projects, and then taking that fabric and then sticking with your thumb, pushing it right into that little hole, okay? So you can see we've got three done so far. Again, working on the pocket is at the lower part, flipping to the back. Right. I will stop after this section and answer any questions if anybody has any, and sip some more tea and catch up on chat, <laughs> okay? And then we'll work on the other four. Super easy. Great to do with family and kids. Great little memory project. Chop up an old t-shirt nobody wears anymore. Turn it into some lovely stars for the, you know, the tree. Uh, you know, I, I could do that with some of the shirts that I've got from my mom. That would be nice to, you know, recycle that fabric, you know, into something really nice and memorable. So, okay. So, and of course you can make your points a little bit more precise. I'm kind of fiddling and faddling here, so, but, okay. Oh, oh, we got, oh, we got one. We're, we're entering, are we? Oh, oh, do I know what you're gonna win? I don't know. So you, yeah. Even Pop don't know. Mm -hmm, thumbs up. Oh, please do, please do. Or thumbs down twice. You know, that's your choice. I only take the two though. That's it. No, no, no in betweens. <laughs> Actually, it doesn't matter. Oh, exclamation there, and 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 J. Uh, need exclamation first, but all together. Exclamation, just like the ones above it, and then it will tell you that you are in. Like my quilt projects, right there. Did it just perfectly. There you go. You got it. You got it. You got it. Hello, Verna. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I did my thumbs up when I was waiting to say, oh, but you didn't know it was going to be a good show, Lynn. It could have been a crappy show. <laughs> Could have been like chaos and dismember well not dismemberment. That's just way too much. Way too much. <laughs> Can't have that. Can we? Mm, I love Kathy Kay and Dolores and T Wendy and Sandra. I see you people. Hello Donna Fane, Crafts a Simple Life. Hello, hello. Hello, Rita from Montana. There's a song there, we just need to make it up. Come on, you and I, we can do it. We can do it. A mystery prize? There's a few things. Because it's my 50th, yesterday I turned 50, we're gonna have five giveaways. Count of five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you, micro project. Cheers. <laughs> Checks in the mail. Okay. <laughs> uh, we are going to, well, you actually have the choice. So the winners have the choice. You can have either the choice of panel number one, which is a Northcott uh, Fractures from the Color Wide uh, Concepts Collection, or this lovely purple one, which has a nice big tree on it, and I have changed it into uh, a quilt for a friend who lives in the States for his daughter, and I've changed it into like a panel that we gave away at a family reunion, and it was absolutely loved and adored. Uh, so it's it's, it's a beautiful one. or or if you don't like either of those you don't want to deal with a panel I have some lovely fresh still in the package black fabric that has planes on it uh, hold on hold on actually let me grab the other one first before pop goes to the other camera to give you some details on these ones still fresh from the wrapper 
smelling delicious and candy like there's some lovely green leaves in there lots of different colored green leaves in there or this here so you get four choices five winners and I made sure I had five meters of this and five meters of that and five of those and five of those just in case if you all crazy people decided you want the same thing so that is what we're giving away what do we think of them apples hmm? so one of any of them yes one of any of them so if you wanted if you won and you said Laura Lynn, I like the black plains fabric I would cut you a meter and that is yours or if you say I like the purple panel then the purple panel is yours how many group for it just said <laughs> As which which fabric is that <laughs> or all of it <laughs> Hello, Maureen. Hello, hello. Love the green leaves. I know. Isn't the, the leaves really caught my attention because I, well, you know, you guys know I love green. And it had such a variety. It's got like seven or eight colors of green in these leaves. And I just thought even as a border or as a, like a bigger accent sort of color or, or a piece or something like that. So, yeah. So you get the choice. I know it's my birthday, but I want to give to you guys. No space, Helen. And those, it's like black with gray planes, and the planes are all like different shapes and colors and stuff like that. So, yeah, I don't know, I just thought it was cute. So, all right, do we have any questions about, yes, anywhere, anywhere, Olivia, anywhere, anywhere on the planet. Do we have a tutorial for a baby quilt using a jelly roll? Yes, we do, we have the boy one, but it's an old, we use an old one, we should probably update that one. Friday's video. <laughs> if I ever get my ever get my stuff together, it'll be Friday's video. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, exactly. Thank you, Miss Helly. Yeah, anywhere, anywhere. No charge to you. Zero dollar for you. Well, I mean, charge to you. <laughs> we do it happily. No, no, no green. Well, then you can have the planes or whatever. Did you? Oh, speaking of that, did you ever get your package? Because if not. I'm sending it again, but I'm tracing it this time, by golly. I'm going to put a tracker in it. Great choice. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. I appreciate that. Appreciate that. Oh, I'm going to finish my tea, too. Sage green is your favorite? Mm. <laughs> it was just what we did for the baby boy quilt. Uh, for the jelly rolls, what was it? It was like a jelly roll race. We just or strips. You just sewed it, sewed it, and then I cut it, and then sewed it, and I ended up making two. I ended up making two quilts out of it because I was just using strips of my fabric, not actually necessarily a jelly roll, but uh, so some strips were bigger. So you know what I mean. So. Mm -hmm. Hello, Connie Sue. Hello, Karen. Hello, Michelle. Hello, Kathy. Hello, Is that Nadia. A meter or a yard? Is that a meter or a yard? A meter. It'll be a meter meter fabric you get 30 i I'm, I'm generous i give like 40 42 inches on my cuts so you get a generous meter you know what i mean i'm telling you it's generous <laughs> and i'm from new york <laughs> thank you verna i appreciate that thank you very much oh uh, helen got her package excellent excellent miss sass miss sass did you ever ever get your package it was the panel, and I sent some chocolates and some Canadian coins. Uh, rail, rail fence, yeah, we did a rail fence one, too. That's right. That's right there, Miss Robin. Yeah, we did a pink one. It was a pink one, pink, pink baby quilt, uh, rail fence. Mm -hmm. All right, so, uh, hello, Barb. Welcome to the chat. Hello, Karen. Thank you, Nancy. I appreciate it. Hey, hello, hello, Elizabeth. What is a meter of fabric? It's about 38 inches. That's, that's about a meter of fabric. But I usually give about 40, 40, 42. Mm, I watched Ruby Lockwood's quilt you finished for her. Oh, very nice. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, 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 I hope that was me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's approximately. <laughs> what was it? I watched the other day, Pop One. The oh, <laughs> yeah, that's right. My machine was really acting up in me. Little Boy yeah, Blue was not cooperating. Excuses. excuses. It was the truth. <laughs> it was a whole truth, but a truth. 
All right, so now let's work on our other corners. And I find it easier, again, if you flip it over and then you're still working on that pocket, trying to fill that pocket at the bottom. So flipping the fabric to the back, flipping it back down upon itself, making the point, pinching it. This is again where you can probably pop in a couple stitches if you wanted, but it is not, is not necessarily a sew project. It is just a fold project, okay? Trim off where you want to tuck this bit right under here. Okay. Give this one a little bit snugger. Okay. Right, move on to the next one. Folding back. Making the point. Dip here, there, and there. And Miss Allison shared uh, her lovely trip to Turkey and Greece. Oh, on her Facebook page, my goodness. Oh, that was just stunning. I love the whole little Coliseum video. That was amazing, absolutely amazing. Okay. Just trying to snug things up as we're going along here. It kind of got a little loose. So I don't think I'm pulling as tight as I, as I should, but because I'm afraid I'm gonna fold the fabric. So. Oh, take care, Lynn, have a good one. Have a good one. She's off to watch Dancing with the Stars. Well, not stars, but you know, Strictly Come Dancing. Maybe? Is that it? Is that it, Lynn? Is that it? Is that what's going on? Hello, Sandra. Thumbs up, Sandra. Thank you. Mm, which would have to do with. The, I see, I, I missed Sasslet's answer again in regards to. She did not get it. Oh, my goodness. So frustrating. I'm sorry? Probably in the middle of the Pacific. Yeah. Hello, Betsy. Thank you very much. Uh, you must have more. I do have heat in the shop. And it's actually a nice day out today. It's like eight degrees. eight degrees outside or something like that. So. And, and, I've, and I've got two t-shirts on. But I'm a two t-shirt kind of person. I know it sounds weird, but I do. It was truly awesome tour with my mother-in-law, niece. I was wondering who they were. I figured they were, obviously they had to be family. You were just picking up strangers. Or were you? <laughs> Here we go. And those are some little extra bits and bobs. All right. And then you can always, you know, you can always press it too. I mean, you know, don't be shy on the present. You know, if you want to be that way. <laughs> you want to be one of those people. <laughs> Kidding, kidding, kidding. Mm -hmm. do, 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 do. I'm all alone this weekend. We was getting all inclusive at my eldest son's house, and my youngest, who lives here, is away for a 30th birthday party. Oh, very nice, very nice, very nice. From the U.S. is that? oh, really interesting. Yeah, it seemed amazing. I was just the way that I was talking to Kent about it, actually. So I was like, I can you hear like a pin drop. And then, you know, with, and then, of course, she didn't mean to say happy birthday to me, but she was like telling Eric to sing. And so she's like, happy birthday. I'm like, I'll take that happy birthday. <laughs> it was awesome. Because <laughs> she was yelling it to all of Greece and all of like Turkey. She was saying happy birthday to me. <laughs> maybe, maybe not. All right, and then you just take some floss with a embroidery needle or sharp a sharp a sharp needle, but big the eye is big enough to fit some embroidery floss, and then you just kind of poke through whichever side you want hanging up or the one you want dangling or what have you. So you could possibly hang them this way, like putting the stitch up through here or putting the stitch through the side. I think we're going to go with the other ones that I've done here and just go through the side. And you just want to pull up enough. And I find that if you have a hard time getting the needle through, get a pair of like needle nose pliers and then just grip it and pull up gently. Not too, not too, uh, don't be too rough. You'll regret it. And then just be able to pull the fabric because it's, it's quite a bit. It's quite a bit. So. And then you just give yourself however long a tail you want to be able to put things on your branches or where you're ever going to hang them. Just leave that the way it is. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, I saw he wouldn't, but you could still hear him a bit. You could still. So it's interesting if he just, if he was an actor and had to project, you know, they the actor in the center of this of the uh, coliseum there would be heard all the way up to the nosebleed sections, right? So that was just that was just the amazing thing. And there we go. Isn't that cute? Super easy. Which media is the best for winners to send? Oh, our email. Email. It'll be info at wesowit.ca. And you'll, you will be, well, well, we could do a draw. Want to do a draw? Let's do a draw before we start our next one. Okay. All right, so there's, there's our beautiful star. Oh, Kathleen, taking a cleaning break? Good. You need to. Yeah, we got all sorts of good stuff here for... Nancy McNamara. You're going to have to say it, so I don't know. I said it. What is it? Nancy McNamara. Oh, that's the winner. Oh, I thought yeah. you wanted me to say Oh, my goodness. Okay. <laughs> I thought you wanted me to read what she was saying. That's why I couldn't see it. <laughs> <laughs> she won. She hasn't said anything. But okay, Nancy, cool. if you... Nancy Mac... Nam, hold on. McNamara. If you are in the chat, please say something now. You have like two minutes to say something in the chat before we have to draw a new name. Or we will be forced to draw a new name. The force. Force. The force will be with us, but we don't want it with us. We want you here. Yeah, so in all sorts of different colored embroidery threads to, to use for this, you can maybe even do a ribbon if you can if you got a nice ribbon to go through, or even uh, sew one in if you wanted to, or glue one in. It's up to you. So, uh, but yeah, definitely let your let your imagination run wild. That's for sure. Okay, we're just gonna put the pin up here. Alrighty, finish some more tea. Was that your birthday too, Miss Donna Faye, a couple days ago? I thought so. Mm -hmm. Hi, y'all. Just making it in. Hello, I'm here. She's here? Yay! Okay. There we go. Send an email to the address Pop's going to put on the screen of your at mailing address. Who, who it needs to go to and your mailing address, please. And what they want. And, and, oh, yeah. What you, oh, yeah. Sorry. What you want. <laughs> <laughs> well, happy belated birthday, Miss Donna Faye. Happy birthday and cheers to Sharon being a being a, a statutarian baby with me. Or are we? Yeah, we know we're Sagittarians. Okay, so your choice is Miss Nancy. Would you hold on? My pants are falling down. Um, would you like panel number one, which is the fractures uh, color works concepts? Would you like panel number two? which is the Artisan Spirit Shimmer from Northcott. Uh, lovely, lovely panel. Or would you like fabric number one, which is the green leaves, or fabric number two, which is the black plains? Black and gray plains. So, and I'll put those there. They're fresh, fresh still in the package. Thank you everybody for saying she's here. I hate it when we miss them and then I get frustrated. Mm -hmm. What's your decision, my dear? You decide, and I'm going to iron some uh, the next set that we're going to put. It's a bit of a delay. I don't know whether I got the right delay setting on there. Okay. So, well, no worries. No worries. We'll, 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 we'll do some ironing. Ironing. And I'm just going to fold these in half, and then half on themselves again to get that, like what we would do for, for if you were going to sew down uh, a binding as, on both sides of Yeah, we had some major intense winds, like, 
never never felt it so windy uh, and, and rained so much anywhere. Unless I, well, I knew it rained as much as we did uh, as we lived in BC or um, in the UK. But as for the intensity of the wind, never, 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 never anywhere. <laughs> that was a whole new experience for us living here. That's for sure. We've, we've learned a lot in the past, uh, not even a month yet. So we've only been here like three and a half weeks. So one, two, three, four. So we've got those. And then once we do it to the middle, we take that and use that crease line as our guideline for our raw edges. She wants the fracture. The, the pardon? The fracture. The fracture? Perfect. Okay, make sure you put that in the email though, okay? Uh, I'm, I'm cute and I'm smart, but sometimes I don't have the best memory in the whole wide world. And that it's that's what kind of happened with the last year's, the sewing machines that we were all making up for the fans. We were doing 22 or 23 or something like that. And because uh, we went over the 12 hour, that was a 12 hour one, that's right. Um, we we lost the video and I could never I, I could never see it again to figure out who, who won what and that I made a mix up on the sewing machines and I felt like a real twit to tell you the truth but, and I don't even know if those people are still fans of the channel anymore that I messed up on their their sewing machine block so I feel really bad about that so please just please tell me what you won help, help an old lady out <laughs> video at all and YouTube said no we can't have this video it's over 12 hours so we lost all the everything off of it, right? even people who want to watch it in the future can answer which would have been a fun video because we had some fun making so much So she said the fracture panel, right? Okay, yes. I'm, I do want to try and remember, but we're, we're asking for a miracle here. <laughs> and you heard that, thank you. Uh, we got more? We got more? Practically creative. So speaking of 12 hours, when is the next one? Well, uh, so we have a little bit more tweaking with the stuff to do. What do you think, Paul? We're, we're, we're on a good step, though. Maybe 30% there? I'd say we're 50%. 50%? Yeah. yeah. I mean, we only started that between... A bit of this week and, and the weekend, or this morning, really, is yeah. when we started tweaking with it. So I, I'm soon, maybe not next weekend, but maybe the weekend after, if we can get everything ready that we need to. Let me look at that. I just, I've got... Oh, and Pop's also on call over Christmas, too, so or close to Christmas, so we have to look into that, too. Yeah, Can't be. so it'll be in December at some point, but... In December some point, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> And not the 25th, because that's Christmas Day. We won't be here. We won't be doing a 12-hour on Christmas Day. Sorry. We won't be streaming on Christmas Day. Yeah, or, or streaming on Christmas Day. <laughs> I was just wondering, because L -L -N -T I'm almost out of tea. Why? What was it? What was the uh, well, she wondered if there was water in the shop. Oh, no, no, no. I'm almost out. Oh, all the little tiny birds. You know how those birds, the, the, the ones that, like, whoo, swoop and whatever together? Starlings. Starlings. See a big pack back there? Yeah. Pew! We're gonna have to get a camera right there. 12 hour in January is okay too? Maybe, maybe. Maybe we can do that as New Year's Day. I'm off. You're off? Everybody's a week, maybe? That gives us a nice goal to get prepped for? How, how does everybody feel about New Year's Day for a 12 hour? Yeah, okay. What? 
Let's let's put that out to everybody else because New Year's Day is usually a family day, right? So true, true. But we can make up for that. A with recovery a, day. A recovery day. <laughs> Not this year. <laughs> I'll be away. Oh, that's right. You go, you go to, you go to your mom's, and she, and she doesn't got internet. Looking good. Oh, thank you, Helen Bowie. Well, that's good. We had a first winner in the chat. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Miss Nancy. Maybe what we'll do is we'll put a vote up on the uh, uh, on the guild page. Okay. Uh, and I can do that, and we'll, okay. we'll ask everybody if they say yes or no. We'll take the majority. If it's no, we'll go to a different day. Okay. We'll just work it from there. Sounds good to me. New Year's, <laughs> New Year's Day, not starting at midnight. Yeah, no, yeah, not starting at midnight. <laughs> Miss Nadine, I don't watch the ball drop. I drop before it does. <laughs> oh, you're so funny. All right, there we go. So we got them looped. Now we just gotta snug them, square them up. We will have to go looky loo it up to figure out what it is. Hello, Charlotte. Hello, Helen. <laughs> yeah, Sophie's here. She's good. She's good. Hello, Pam. Thank you for the birthday wishes on Facebook. I appreciate that. Okay, so now we have our other one ready to go. Got some want to be a little bit more firmer on the, the tightening of the fabric because I don't think I was doing it as tight as I think I could have but because I, I just didn't want it to you know fold up and start puckering okay so now we have it at this stage we flip it take the top one straight down so that's north down to south east going to west south going north and west going east and tucking under. Tucking under that one little flap. Okay, there we go. Give, give it, make sure it's snug. Like I said, I was, I was trying to make sure I wasn't pulling it too tight, but even, even though I was a little, even pulling on the last one, I still felt like it was a little bit loose. So just give everybody a little, you know, tug. Okay. It's usually an all day sew along. Oh, okay, okay. That sounds like fun. Mm, how does January 22nd or 29th sound, says Donna Pay. <laughs> and she would have a lot of influence in that answer. <laughs> is fun each new block is released hourly final placement details come last might be worth doing something i sometime oh you know something. what something oh okay people <laughs> what virus <laughs> what are you talking about <laughs> i'm glad lots of people were able to spend it with family this year though It was nice to see some family gatherings and stuff like that. Oh, we'll, we'll miss you, Sass, for sure. Are you kidding me? It'll be quiet. It'll be quiet, says Pop. <laughs> okay, now here comes the folding part where we're making the star points, okay? Now we've got the, the four patch 
looped over itself on the back and looped over itself on the front. This is where you got your little pocket here. We're gonna take this, fold it upon it's there, and down here, there. I'd rather have it too long than too short. So that's why, you know, you could probably even go maybe 15 inches on the cut of the four, four inches by 15 inches. Okay, so nice point, do the same. Folding to the back. And then folding again. And then you wanna pinch it to make sure you're lining it up. We don't wanna go farther than this blue fabric for measurement, okay? And I'm just cutting the one I'm trying to tuck in. Right. Slip it back in through the hole. Like I say, you can use a little tool if you need it, like a little uh, little crochet hook, a knitting needle, a chopstick, a skewer, maybe not a skewer because those are pretty sharp on the other end. So. All right, and I'm just holding it down. I asked Munchkin if you wanted to be my co-pilot for today, but... I don't think he was totally feeling up for it, so. But um, we will be seeing him on the next 12 hours, though. He did say he was going to come and spend some time with us. We'll work on a project out here, or or something, or he'll prep something for the kitchen. Okay, and then folding it again. These are super easy projects to easy do with kids, family as a gift for someone. You're not, you don't want to sew, don't feel like sewing, can't sew, which the power's out. These are great, great projects to do um, at, at any point, really. So, Sorry, my, my point got a little funky there, and I don't know what happened. I don't like it. Let's put it that way. I don't like it. Okay. Back to the other four. Okay. I like that little uh, blue reindeer fabric, that's kind of pretty. Okay, line it up, do a little clip. Don't want it going past the blue fabric. Tucking it all the way in so it's nice and flat. Okay. Here, here. But if you wanted to make this as a, like a somebody something that somebody would use almost daily as like a pull tab or something like that, I would definitely be sewing it or even gluing it. But make sure you're using fabric glue and not like, you know, crazy glue or something. Because <laughs> I think that's what I might have used on the ornament. <laughs> it's kind of hard. <laughs> the 22-year-old star <laughs> hanging out there. Yeah, I remember Munchkin picking what the arms were going to be and what the legs were going to be and what the head and what we were going to, what color pom-poms we were going to put on. He told me he could put on any color pom-poms he wanted. Santa didn't necessarily have to have a white beard that day. <laughs> could have gone all hippie. No, it's not a 12 hour today, Lisa Lisa. No, no, we're not quite ready for that yet. Not quite ready for that. All right, last one here. Do a little fold. Super easy, no sew star ornament. Gift topper, make a whole bunch, make a little wreath, hang a whole bunch from the kitchen lights or the you know chandelier or you know the bathroom light. I don't know. Put your stars wherever you want them. Oops, I'm gonna refold this one. It's, it's giving me a little bit of a pain. In the Is innocent? I don't know. It was yesterday. I turned 50. I turned 50 yesterday. So exclamation enter because we got a couple giveaways. Actually, we got four more giveaways. And I think we should do another one. Button is clicked. Okay. I am not saying anything until I see it. Or someone yells into me. Uh, 
Oh, uh, Aunt J, uh, Behrend, Behrend, Aunt, Aunt J Behrend, if you are in the chat, say something now, or we will have to draw a new winner. You have two minutes. Count two minutes to answer in the chat. You got two minutes to answer in the chat. <laughs> and if somebody sees them say something, please, please tell me. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much, everybody, for the birthday wishes. Change so many things, would you? <laughs> Oh, that would be awesome, right? Barb, that's what I said. Like, put, make a garland, make a, make whatever you, you like, right? So, perfect, pretty little star right there. Oh, sorry. That's, that's okay. Let's show right here. You know, loop, you can loop a little ribbon through there. You, or up through one of here's. So, one of those, you know, put it through there. Pop it up. Put it on a present. So, they get the present and this beautiful little, you know, Little heart, or it's heart. I keep calling it heart and a star. Yeah, this is the ones I made so far. Okay. This one's flannel, so it's way thicker with flannel. That's for sure. So I would almost, you know, how we were folding it on top of each other. It almost maybe just kind of fold it in half or something instead of like fold it again and again. So. Thank you, thank you for all the happy birthday wishes. Thank you, thank you. I'm still a young chick, well, thank you. <laughs> I'll keep clucking. <laughs> I'll keep clucking along. <laughs> I, don't, I don't feel it. Like like I said, it was, I think it was last week or whatever, we were talking about birthdays and how I, when I surprised my mom for her 50th and like, I don't, I don't feel anything like I thought she would feel at that point in time, you know what I mean? But then I'm just projecting my feelings onto, you know, someone. Got some red, got some red embroidery floss that we're going to use our tie with. We got lots of pretty stuff here. I'm not sure if this uh, sh shiny metallic -y stuff was going to go through those. It probably would have shredded, but I do have a little bit of that. So. I think it's my, a new person. Uh, two minutes is up. It is. Okay, two minutes is up. We are drawing a new person. Sorry, Anjit Bahard, Bahad, Baharend, Bah, B. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm butchering it and I apologize. I'm sorry? That one's quick. That one's quick. So, hello, Jody. Thank you for the happy birthday wish. Mm -hmm. Star banner would be nice, wouldn't it, Verna? I think it would be very catchy, especially if, you know, Hanukkah, you know? Bar bar bigger. Say something in chat. Please say something in chat. And thank you, Sissy, for congratulations to the winner so far. Yeah, you have to be here to respond, or you can't get it. We can't give it to you because we don't know who he is, so. Uh, but my, I'm watching the other door. Okay, when I type in followed by her name. Okay, thank you, Gwenny. Thank you so much. Miss mm -hmm. Barbara Baker, if you're in the chat, please say something. You got two minutes flat. We're less than that now. <laughs> what the heck? What, the guys ate something? I'm your sis ass. Yeah, well, I, I owe you. I owe you the lost panel. Can I change my name? <laughs> Barbels. Nice try, honey. <laughs> Give me kudos to that. <laughs> Cute. I, I guess the question is Barb Baker in the chat. Will the real Barb Baker please stand up? Oh, she is there! Yay! There she is! There she is! She's come to save the day! Miss Barb Baker! Thank you, everybody. Thank you, thank you, thank you. What would you like? Would you like panel number one, panel number two, fabric number one, fabric number two? And if you would like to see your choices, please let me know, because I'm happy to do so as soon as I thread this needle. I want all six. <clears throat> all right, I'm going to fold it in half. Fold it in half. Sometimes that's better. 
instead of trying to fiddle with the end, if you fold it in half, and then get all the loops in, hopefully, get all the loops in, all but one. <laughs> do, 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 do. Do you, want, do you want to see them? Hello, Grindel. How are you doing? I think she's in the chat. Yeah. Oh, okay. Because they, that's why I was like, maybe we should give them a couple, maybe another minute or something. So, because of what you said about the, the time delay. All right, we're going to pierce through here, try and get all the fabrics. Which I chose. One is which? Uh, hold on. For, hold on one second. Do, do, do. I'm going to van away here. Panel number one, it is the Fractured by Colorworks concept. Panel number two is uh, Artisan Shimmer Spirits with the big tree. It's beautiful. I've done a few projects in it. Uh, you can look them up too if you like. Fabric number one is the green leaves. And fabric number two, fresh still in the package, smelling all Scooby Doo, is, uh, is uh, I've got some beautiful fabrics here. So. Hello, Gita. Welcome to the chat. Okay, no problem. Happy to help. And you get a meter of this, which is approximately about 40 inches. I'll give you 40 inches of this or 40 inches of this. So you get your choice of one of those. So whichever one you would like. Oh, you missed it, Angit. And it, oh, yeah, you had to be here in the time. Oh, no. I hate it when that happens. Number one. Okay, but is that fabric one or the panel number one? Hello, Penny. Welcome to the chat. Here is evening. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. The, the, unfortunately, the rules are so sorry. So it's either panel one or fabric one. That's what we got so far, right? We just need to figure out what it is. The green leaves. Okay, perfect. Please send an email to the address that Pop's going to put in chat with your name, where we're mailing it, and you want the green leaf fabric. Okay? Please. Please and thank you. I forget my own head if it wasn't attached. So... All right, so there's, we're going to finish off this star. Two down. Two down, three to go. Let's do another one, right now. Right now? Right now. Right now. Right now, do another one. Draw another name. We got another winner. Winner, winner, winner. Button pushed. Button pushed. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let's play the game. Do, no, no. Beautiful. Deborah Holdman. Deborah Holdman, please say something in chat. Thank you, Barbara. Thank you for watching and, and hanging out with us. I don't know if you're aware, but LL's mic isn't working. Just hearing you through camera mic, maybe she isn't wearing. I am. I am. No, no. That's interesting. I wonder. Uh, exclamation enter there, Penny. You got, we still have a few more to give away. So, Deborah Holdman. I'm, I'm looking in the chat, seeing if I find your name. You got two minutes. Two minutes. Miss Deborah Holdman. Well, she must be in the chat because Kelly A typed her in. So, don't be sleeping. Thank you, Aunt, Aunt Jit, for, for saying a uh, friend. Thank you for saying something. Appreciate that. I'm sorry. Sounds the same as you have the whole line. Oh, okay. Okay, all right. I'm Robin, thank you. Uh, there she is. Wonderful. What would you like? Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Thank you for saying something. Uh, would you like panel number one, the fractures? Would you like panel number two, the tree? And I can I can show you that if you need a closer view of it. Or fabric one or fabric two, which is the green or the plains. The green leaves or the pla the black and gray plates. So. Thank you. Thank you, everybody.
everybody. I really appreciate it because it's sometimes so hard to see a name when sometimes, you know, chat's flying past like crazy. And, and I, I feel really bad if we miss somebody. Allison, can we hear just fine? Okay, interesting. Hmm. Maybe it's just the way it sounds like in the new shop. So. Or it could be that you are getting picked up on the camera mic and not the. Mm, oh, James, how you doing? Get on that keyboard and respond. <laughs> if it's going, he's cracking a rip. <laughs> oh, that's not that's not good. Hopefully, he, get, he feels better. He feels better. <clears throat> I'm just waiting for her response. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, we're still tweaking the settings on the new cameras. So, yeah, thank you. Thank you, Sass, for saying something. Is that different? Mm, in regards to what? Are you hearing something different? Pop wants to know. Mm, Greenly fabric. Okay, perfect. All right, so make sure you send an email to Pop. He will put it in the chat when he gets a moment because he's somewhere else right now. Um, uh, with your name, address, and that you would like the green leaf fabric, please, okay? Something happened to the mic. Now you're... Mm, hold on. Something happened to the mic. Now you were leaning over. Yes, the sound changed. Sounds good now. I can hear you all better. Mm, good sound. Oh, oh, oh. Right. I feel that figured out. It all work. There we go. Okay, okay. Pop, pop, got it all figured out. Yay. Okay, we got it. We got it. Okay, yeah, make sure you send an email, please. Okay, Deborah? Please, please, please. I don't want to forget. So we got one panel and two green fabrics, right? Is that right? Yeah. Okay. Got two more to give away still. All right, let's pick our other colors. Let's do all one. Okay, so take our strips, four inches. I buy, I've got this at like 17 and a half, but you could go like 15 inches, that's all you need. And then we're gonna fold it in half, iron it, and then once we're gonna take that, we're gonna low, put those two on itself and give a press, okay? We're still we're still figuring out the new software we, own, we and, and new cameras, so we appreciate the patience and, and the feedback. Okay. My arms are starting to get a little chilly though, so I may put my hoodie on. to do all these little beautiful cardinals white and red yeah I'm gonna have to get a like a water cooler or something for out here because I've noticed many times I've been out here and I'm like yeah I need a glass of water or you know I could make myself a quick kettle or quick tea so yeah I need to I need I need to discover where I want stuff first and then I can like get a little fridge and and a little set up a little spot I have another kettle uh, that's not the problem I got I got a few kettles yeah my tummy's been upset most of the week so all I've ever uh, all I've had is really is water or I've had a black tea so because I wasn't sure what exactly was upset in my stomach it was uh, very very painful for sure I'm just glad I'm feeling better. Oh, 
And like I say, it was nasty wind and rain all week. Oh my gosh. M more intense than we've ever, ever experienced in our lives, that's for sure. And of course, getting used to a new house too, right? So. Mm -hmm. uh, just opt in for me. Oh, you have to be here to win, and it's exclamation enter. There you go. <coughs> Sorry. Exclamation enter to enter. That's pretty much the default one when we got a giveaway. One more. Just folding it in on itself. Sealing it all up. Like at this stage, once you get depressed, you, you can sew it down if you wanted to. You know, that's that's up to you. But it is not necessarily a Oh, get yourself one. Don't give me one. Oh, did you bring this for me? Yeah. Oh, I oh, love look it. How it oh, totally. <laughs> Because <coughs> they're literally just starting to cough a little bit. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Why didn't you get you one or did you have some? No. I was just talking about getting a water jug out here. <laughs> Thank you. Hmm? It's on your to-do list? <laughs> yes, we've had three winners already. So, yeah. I don't like how that's it. Three winners already. Is the weather the same in your area, in the area you are now? What do you mean the same? Same as where we were? Oh gosh, no, we're provinces away. <laughs> we're near the water now. Drinking water can be difficult? Yeah, I choke on it too. <laughs> I choke on air. <laughs> Thank you, Jan. Appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I don't, we don't like to put up any Christmassy stuff until after our birthdays because it makes no sense, and at least to us anyways. Let's celebrate the birthdays and then we can celebrate the Christmas. You know what I mean? Like one vodka time. <laughs> nope. Sorry, sass. <laughs> um, yeah, then, then it's, the, it's the birthday, then it's the, the, the Christmas, right? So... Just because we're so late in the month of November, it's like, let's just one, one, one thing at a time, right? Fruitcake. Oh, wow. Fruitcake is so drunk with brandy, is it? <laughs> but none of that stays. It all gets cooked off, right? Okay. Yeah, I'm going to have to put my little sweater on. Sorry. My arms are getting cold. Oops. Yeah, I will. Just drop it. Drop it like it's hot until you get the sweater on. Sorry. Sorry, Holmesies. I'm trying to pull my sleeves up. Dirty sleeves. Okay. <laughs> New places, water upsets my stomach. It was, I think, a, a mixture of a few things, to tell you the truth. I don't know exactly quite what it was, but I think we've kind of pinpointed it. Um, flavor imparted from the brand. Yeah, it would be. Fruitcake is an abomination. <laughs> Pop likes fruitcake. I, I just bought him one because I don't know how. To, I, I would like to, to, to make one, but not this year. Maybe next year. It'll be it'll be on the what 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 can I do list? <laughs> Happy tears, <laughs> armchair detective. No, I think she's accusing me of having vodka in my beverage. But if Pop poured it for me, it is surely not. <laughs> yep. Uh, only thing we have in the house is apple flavored uh, Crown Royal. 
Yeah, Pop really likes his fruitcake. I'm not I'm not a big fan of it. Most of most times because they got nuts in it too, but there is stuff that doesn't have nuts in it and I I've, I've had that and I mean, nah. Uh -uh. Nah, My leg is cramping at me, so I have to sit a spell. Okay. Oh, screaming at you. Oh no, that's not good there, Pat. That's not good. Bucket list. Exactly, Dolores. Exactly. All right, so let's make this other one. Just looping it through. Just keeping it loose right now so we can figure out what we're doing. Okay. There we go. Simple and easy. Just looped through. Okay. Let me give him a little snug tug. Do, do, do. And, and this is where it takes a little time. Be patient with yourself. It's not. No, it's no rush. No, nobody's on your back trying to make you get that star done. You no, know? no, it's all good. Just take your time. Tweak it. Twiddle it. Tug it. A honey cake recipe. Well, that, that, that sounds pretty good there, Brad. Hello, Gypsy Mom. We used to age our fruit cakes with brandy every week for a month. Wow. Could be altitude sickness. Oh, I didn't even think about that. Mm, I use an old Laura. Oh, Secord. Ah, yeah, I love Laura Secord. Recipe book. Nom, nom, nom. Lord, secret. They have the best mint chocolate bars. Oh my goodness. Them, them's be the bomb. I remember when we lived in the UK and my mom had asked me, oh, what was it, 30? Wouldn't have been my 30th birthday. Maybe? Maybe it was my 30th birthday. 20 years ago. My goodness. Uh, yeah, it would have been about that time, almost <clears throat> 20 years ago, um, what I wanted for my birthday. And I said a box of, uh, I, no, I said Laura Secor mint chocolate bars. <laughs> so she bought me a box and mailed me a box. Okay. And then we tuck this one under here. And we do the same, give it a nice little tuggy tug. Make sure everybody's snug. Has a little old bug and a little old rug. Okay, so we got the four woven on this side and the four woven on this side. Okay. And now we get to start making our points. Okay. Like I said, I, th I think my tails are way too long. I could have been they could have been shortened a couple inches, but I'd rather have it too long than too short. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Don't forget to vote on the guilt. Oh, yeah, yeah, for the next 12 hours. Mm -hmm. da, da, da. Hey, Walmart has a fireball holiday nog that tastes just like eating red hot candy. Oh, really? Wow. Is it? That's not, that doesn't have alcohol in it though, does it, James? They can't, they can't sell drinks like that, can they? Uh, how long have we been in a new place? About um, three and a half weeks, but we've only been out in the shop for about four days <laughs> total. Like really, I wish it was well enough to get out here all week this last week. I, it was my goal, it was my plan. Yeah, it wasn't happening. Lorlin, that is how I do my blessed palm looks like keep going up until it looks like a pine cone oh really okay and just by flipping and flopping and folding that's cool i've seen some cool little pine cones that's awesome pat <clears> oh <throat> charlotte hello hello i voted says lois <laughs> all right now now's the the part where we're making our points okay 
So I like to start off where the it's at the bottom. See how you can see this one is at the top. I don't know if that makes any sense to you, but that's at the top of the fold. We want to start, we want to tuck in at the bottom of the fold, okay? Because this one's already folded over here, it's thicker. So we want to take the thin part down here, fold it on itself, okay? So you get this little tuck back here. Make sure you're always going from the back, back to the front. Come on. This is where maybe someone the side or having the side to the other end, uh, other way would be a good idea. The folded edges. And then fold it down on itself to make that little point. And then hold it, pinch it, flip it over here. And then we just want to make sure we're not going past this part here as in measurement wise. So we just want to make sure we're adding like a, a square, a square of measurement to tuck in to hold it. I guess it you could drop spot of glue in there little no sew fabric glue or something like that and then just tuck it in with your thumb or chopstick or you know whatever you need to, as a poking tool fireball fudge i missed the beginning when folding strips you leave one longer than the other just yes just just a little bit by maybe an inch or an inch and a half and then as, cause that's when you, when you're going to the other side, you're doing a big fold to come all the way back. So it kind of evens up after that. Mm, yeah, and your first depends on what the family is doing. Dep oh, it depends on the state if they can sell hot liquor. Really? Interesting. All right, I think we should have another giveaway. If you have not entered, exclamation enter real quick to get in there before Pop hits the magic button. You have to be in the chat to claim your prize. We got how many? How many we got? Two, 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 two left. Two more to give away. Ba -bum -bum. Two more to give away. Ba -bum -bum. Thank you, Miss Deborah. Awesome. That is literally half the battle with people who win. <laughs> Please send the email so we know where to send it. <laughs> We've had people win and never send an email. And they've been in the chat. And they've claimed it in the chat, but never sent an email. And we're like, what do we do? And we've even said it about, like, in the show or later. Like, hey, you know, so-and-so, we're going to give you another chance to send an email. And uh, No space there, Marion. Just like Michelle and Lisa just did. Just just like that. Just, just exclamation into. And Susan. Susan got it, too. Susan's on it. Yes, definitely the different strips. But I thought you know, could see him, uh, the, how it looks like as a whole color. Uh, that hence why this, like, you know, pink, the pink, um, pink and gray um, uh, ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da of uh, elephants. As I say, pink elephants always go with Christmas. <laughs> I'm kidding. Anybody says. <laughs> Yeah, you just need to enter once. And you're still in the draw, even if uh, somebody else has won. So you're still in the draw. All right, clip and tuck in. Okay, snugging up, snugging up. Got a couple more to go. Okay, so that's half. Half our little points made. Okay, button has been clicked. Um, I don't know what it was to tell you, Lisa, Lisa. It just was, um, it started last week, late last Pat week. Rem. I'm sorry? Pat Rem. Pat Schneider. Miss Pat, what would you like? Panel number one, panel number two, fabric number one, fabric number two. Miss Pat Rem. You, she's here. I know she's here, but she was having a pain in her, in her, in her. One of her parts was pain in her. Her leg. Her leg. Sorry. Thank you. I was like back leg. No, it was it was leg. Pat, Pat, where are you, Pat? I know she's here. I know she's there. Say something quick. I did. I did, Lori. It was a great day. Mm -hmm. No, Pat Rem, Rem Schneider. I know she's here. She just said something. She just told me about making this into a pine cone. Ah, woohoo! What would you like? Yeah, you. I can't believe I won, Pat. Yes, yes. What would you like? 
panel or fabric. No, I'm sorry, Pat Bowman. I apologize. Sorry. Maybe next time. Mm -hmm. The leaf fabric. Oh, everybody's liking the leaf. That's three for leaves. I wasn't sure if people were going to like that one, to tell you the truth. Well, I'm glad. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Thank you for helping. Thank you for partaking. Thank you for helping. Everything. <laughs> I love, oh my gosh, Sass, your little video message. Uh, happy birthday to me from Mitchell. And I love how he starts off. Hey, hey, Pat lady, how's it going or something like that? You just made me laugh so hard. I'm like, oh my gosh, he's so adorable. I just love that little guy. Hello, Pepsi girl. It's been a while since we saw you. Miss Viv, if I stand, if, if, correct me if I am wrong, but if I remember correctly, it's been a while, I believe Miss Viv is your name. Yeah, the emails are right there. The elf turned out amazing, and then the bear was really super cute, too. Yeah, really, really happy with both of them. Very happy with both of them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's here. Her pa uh, Pat is. I saw her. I saw her. She, said she couldn't believe she won. <laughs> she couldn't believe it. Yes, congratulations. All right, one more. One more little, little part to do here. Hello, Jackie. What's going on? Thank you, Pepsi Girl. Appreciate that. Thank you, thank you. It was a good day. <clears throat> Pop cooked me a perfect steak. It was delicious. I made some focaccia bread and some uh, uh, baked potatoes. It turned out really nice. Um, I think we're having something from the pizza place, but I don't want the pizza. I think I'm going to have a donaire. Uh, I sent you a picture on... Oh, oh, thank you. Of your uh, pine cone? I would love to see it. I would love to see it. I, I just can't see it right now. Hello, Cheryl from Pennsylvania. We used to live in Harleysville. Where, where are you from Harleysville? Or do you even know where Harleysville is? There we go. Isn't that pretty? You can see the fabric's just big enough. You can see those cardinals in there. Just, just big enough that you can actually see the cardinals in there. Isn't that pretty? But I do agree, the ones that are four colors really do make things pop. And, of course, you can do red and whites and greens and blues and greens and reds and whites and all sorts. That's a two-color one. So that's just I used dark blue and then the light blue fabric that had some pattern on it. And then there's another one that's got four colors. This one's got the same. And then this one is the same for all four. Just adds a little bit of differentness to them. So it's oh, always after a fly. <laughs> she chose the green <laughs> sass. So I guess it's nothing she's making for you. <laughs> or maybe it is. <laughs> Now, if you have a hard time after pushing your needle through, getting it out the other end, just go and grab a pair of needle nose pliers and just tuck a little gently till it comes through. Okay? Don't don't fight with it. There's no, no point in fighting with it. And then give yourself a little tie off. Add some bells, add some beads, add some buttons, add a little Christmas tree. I don't know. There we go. So pretty. It's got a little collection going on here. Look at us. It's got six stars. Mm -hmm. I can have some more water. Thank you. Uh, there we go. All right, let's make one more. Super easy, Pauline. Super easy. Just folded. Just folded. The only needle and thread you need is to hang it up. But if 
if you didn't want to do that, you can just loop a little ribbon, ribbon, sorry, through like the little end here at the, and then it would just hang that way. You know what I mean? And you could hang it this way too. You're gonna put the little string up here if you want the, you know, little, little, little funkadoodle star or something. But this one's made out of flannel. It's really thick and super soft. So if emergency pillow. You know what I mean? So, just in case, Santa needs a cat nap. He's got some comfy pink elephants to nap on. <laughs> They're kind of cute, aren't they? All right, let's fold another one. Another set here. No, he's not. He's all bits and pieces. I'd like, I would have liked to have got him a little bit more organized this week, but, um, or last week, but it'll have to be this week. Let's, uh, let's do two and two, okay. So what we're doing is this a strip about four inches wide. Um, these are 17, but you can probably go 15 as you can see the extra that I've cut off. So you can go about 15 inches uh, long. And then what you want to do is you just want to fold them in half and then use that crease line as the line you're going to go towards with your raw edges and then you'll fold it over again. Okay. So it's, you're sealing up the whole thing around. Okay. It was nice to actually see the sun today. We hadn't seen the sun in days. I was like, what's that big bright ball in the sky? It was a bit sunny yesterday morning, but then it turned to rain by about 1 o'clock. And then it was trying to rain just as we were starting the stream today, too. Just a wee bit. I think we're in for tomorrow for rain. That's why I thought may, it might be snow, because we're supposed to drop to minus, four, minus 4 Celsius. Okay. So now once you have them to that state, they're all folded in half and then pressed. Now we're just going to take that raw edge, fold to where our press line was, and again for the inside, and then make it just like that. As if it was you were trying to, to make a, uh, a different sort of like a one-piece binding there, you'd sew on both sides. And then fold on itself again. So you've got a nice strip of fabric. Okay. <clears throat> and you'll need four strips for this, and it makes a beautiful star. And you can use up scrap fabrics, Christmas fabric, non Christmas fabrics, make something special for somebody. You know, you got to, um, um, you know, pause patrol or somebody loves pink or whatever make him a nice pink star nice pink star for the tree it doesn't always have to be Christmassy stuff right it doesn't even have to be for the tree maybe it's for their backpack maybe it's you know it's to their it's the sign that that's their special treat drawer you know like okay well I don't know I'm sure you guys could think of lots of things to to, to decorate with them or give them as gifts from Nancy or Barbara Baker. Okay, Nancy and Barbara Baker, you got to send your emails to info at we sew it dot ca. Okay, get on. Another, another, another star. <coughs> Are you okay? Okay, all right, here we 
you go. There are four little strips. Let's make one more. Yuck, not licorice. A lot of people don't like licorice. Um, my mom used to eat those. Oh, gosh. All sorts. All sorts of licorice. That's, that would be the one candy nobody else in the house would touch. The only one I would eat would be the one that was literally covered with the little sparkles or the little candy drops on it. That's the only one I would eat. <laughs> Could put on package. That's what I said. Yeah, that's exactly what I said there, Dolores. Yeah, put on a package and give it as an ornament. As well. you know, it's not just a gift. It's an it's an ornament too. You know. And you've got one a little shorter than the other as you fold it, okay? Kind of want to give it about an inch, two inches, something like that. It doesn't have to be a huge amount. It's just because of the way you fold it, you've got to do it. Goodies, licorice is yummy. Oh, those are the little candy-coated ones, right? They look like a, like a rice bean or something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All sorts were definitely my mom's favorite. She just would, and we wouldn't touch them. We were like, because they were like, I was desperate if I had <laughs> was that one of those. <clears throat> I can't have coke. I can't have nuts. Even though they say coconut is not a nut, but it still bothers me. So, whatever it is about the coconut, I think it's the husk. It has something to do with the husk that goes around the the seed. I mean the the nut. They have the cream fondant stuff on them. Is that what they? Is that was that, that what the covering is? Hello, Mel. Oh, hold on, Mel. Yana, Melly, Melna, Melna. I'm gonna say Melna. Yes, candy coat. Yeah, okay. Yeah, those ones aren't bad. Those aren't bad. I like those ones, especially when you kind of mix it with popcorn and stuff like that. You kind of make it like a sweet and savory sort of thing. Sweet, uh, salty licorice you got in Norway. Oh, really? Strong, salty kind of licorice. Is it like, um, you know, when you get like a bagel from a bagel place and you got that like bigger crystalled um, salt on it? Does that have on it or is it actually just salty flavor in, in it? You know what I mean? If that makes any sense. <laughs> Does that make any sense at all? I don't know. Mm -hmm. Yes, exclamation enter to enter. We got one more giveaway to give away today. Yesterday was my 50th birthday, and we're sharing the love today with everybody. Hey, hey. Exclamation enter to enter. We got one more giveaway. No, it's salty flavor. Okay, okay. I wasn't sure how when you say salty licorice, I wasn't sure. <clears throat> Birdies, Bassets, in Brit. Yes, I've uh, I've had I've actually sent those to my mom. Yes, I've got to give her something new. I think it was our first Christmas there. Okay, once you get your strip snug in your folded square, okay. And I'm using two of the same color on one side, like the, let's say, north and south, and then two different for the east and west, okay? All right, so now we got this going here. Flip it over. Pipes and cigars, yeah, and the little uh, uh, packages. So, okay, now, now we flipped it over and we had the same star uh, square um, foldedness on this side and this is where the longer piece comes in effect because we have to go all the way across the two squares right so the north comes all the way down to south okay the wet east the east goes to west south goes to north and west goes to east but you got to tuck it under the first one okay all right that's literally the, like I think the most complicated part of this whole project is getting to this point right here. 
other than that it's like super super duper easy okay just give a little tuggy tugs make sure we're we're, we're tight okay <coughs> all right i think we should have our last giveaway thank you everybody for the happy birthday wishes and pop had a really good day last week we got our mailbox put together and um it was yeah we actually got mail this week <laughs> couple of bills but <laughs> that's okay button, right. button has been pushed last winner is Michelle's crafts and more are you in the chat Michelle's crafts and more are you in the chat please say something say something tell us where you're at Okay, and then we're folding it over. Okay, folding it behind to make that angle. Folding it again. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Okay, and then we're gonna make sure it doesn't, we just want like a square fabric to tuck under, okay? We just wanna hold that snug, that fold that we did for the nice peak of our star and then tuck it under. There she is! there she is congratulations there she is what would you like my dear would you like panel one would you like panel two would you like fabric one would you like fabric two <laughs> i haven't lost my marbles i'd have never had them to begin with <laughs> mm. you can't lose what you never had <laughs> Yes, congratulations to all the winners. The purple panel, please. Poop, perfect. Happy to oblige. You get that fly, Sophie. You get that fly. Wow. <laughs> Bye, Charlotte. Big hugs. Thanks for hanging out with me on my birthday. It's my birthday, Steve. I feel it's still my birthday. I'm going to celebrate a whole week. Yep, a whole week. Now that I'm starting to feel good, it's a whole week. Still be partying next Saturday. Bring it on, people. Bring it on. <coughs> yes, please send an email to there. Purple panel, please. Awesome. Awesome. It's a beautiful panel. I've done a few quilt. I've done a, a quilt and a wall hanging with it. And I thought they both turned out really pretty. And in, in both different ways, too. So, okay, we've done the four. Oh, no, we didn't. No, we didn't. There, that's the fourth one. Okay, fold in, fold in, there, measure, and tuck under. Wonderful. Well, thank you, everybody, for celebrating with me today, for hanging out and and, and, and enjoying their, our time together. I appreciate it. Okay, now we've done that, those four. I'm gonna flip it over and do the other four. I just find it easier to work with it this way. You can, whatever works for you, how about it? We are all different and it is A-OK -okay that we are different. A whole week thing is definitely one to do <laughs> what I do too. I plan a trip, RV or something. Yeah, just kind of. Well, I really wanted to get into the quilt shop, but I was seriously feeling absolutely horrible. In fact, I'm not one to just, you know, take myself to the hospital or something, but I, I, I really contemplated it on, on Wednesday. I really did. And then I thought, okay, well, if something happens to me. I've got the car. The boys have no transportation. <laughs> They're never going to get here. They need to come and get me or something. So... <clears throat> I thought, okay, I could try something else. I'll try this. And then I just didn't have enough energy to go to the store. And what I did on the Thursday. And, I just, and, and it, it was helping. It was helping. So definitely, definitely much, much better. And I have energy to do stuff. I just had no energy to do stuff. I had nothing. I had nothing to give. There was nothing there. The tank was empty. <laughs> I was done for. <laughs> I barely had enough energy to get myself some water and let Sophie out. So... Oh, there's this. It's actually out on the the web too of lots of uh, 
uh, folded stars or stuff like that. I just thought it was really cute and easy and lots of people love to work with fabric and love fabric but don't always want to do a sew project. So especially, especially when they're working with other people or they want to do it for other people, they can do a nice little, you get all your bits and bobs ready before you sit in front of the TV before, you know, dancing with the stars and you can probably get four or five of them folded in no time at all, right? And then you got lovely little gifts to give for people. Even a neighbor, you don't even, you know, because I thought about maybe giving a couple of these to the neighbors. I don't know them. I got some chocolates and here's a star for your, ch you know, I don't, what else do you give somebody, right? Like, just, I don't, I don't know. I, just, I don't want to not give them something, right? That's a pretty one. I have to say that's almost my favorite one right there. I really like that one. Sorry, there we go. Put it to the right camera, it might be better. Uh, are you going to hang these? Yes, I am. I am. I'm going to hang them on my tree. I'm going to hang them on my tree. Or hang them around the shop here or something like that. Well, lots of people have allergies, so until I get a chat with them because I have allergies, you know, I'd appreciate some, some cookies, but don't be making me pink can cookies because I can't eat them. I'd, be, I'd give you the stink eye. <laughs> Where's my cookies? <laughs> oh, I was like, where happened? I found some bread. Do, 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 do. What color should we use? What color should we use? What color should we use? Ooh, 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 ooh. Let's use a bright blue. A bright blue for you. It's very pretty, isn't it? Chocolate candy tomorrow. Oh, that sounds good. There's nothing wrong with that. No, no, no. <laughs> <clears throat> I love gingerbread cookies. Gingerbread cookies and um, Oh, they're, 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 it's a pretty easy uh, pattern there, that's for sure. Um, I, I'm glad you watched it again. Um, gingerbread cookies and uh, sugar cookies with a little bit of icing on them. Mmm, yum, yum, yum. Those are like my two favorite. I like a good ginger snap too, so. But I like ginger. Don't you want to go? Do you want to go to the naughty? What's going on with her? No. Being persnickety, are ya? Okay. Good to know. <laughs> yeah, I like I like a good ginger cookie. Ginger cookie, ginger cookie. Okay, all right. Poke through here. Use the board or something hard to help put your, your needle through if you can't get it up, get it through all by yourself. Okay, and then wiggle. But if you have a hard time wiggling it, then get yourself a pair of needle nose pliers and just and pull it right through. Pull it. Just pull it. I'm going to put a nice long one on this one. There we go. From cold and windy UK. I know it's late, but it's the first time I've made the show live for the longest time, so I'm very pleased. Oh, thank you, Lisa. Lisa, Lisa Gill. Thank you, thank you. Happy you could join us today. Oh, no. Perfect. Beautiful. Doo -doo. Yeah, we had, we had good fun. We had, we had five giveaways because it was my birthday yesterday. And the big 50. Big 50. <laughs> and then cool them. The flavor and oh, yeah, there we go. Cornflakes or Rice Krispies. There we go. That's a good idea. Haystacks, not cookies. I used to make the ones, uh, my mom used to call them bear paws. But instead of putting coconut in them, I did put like raisins or sunflower seeds or pumpkin seeds or something like that. I would add something different than the coconut. Uh, and they turned out pretty good. They were always a, a mixed adventure, that's for sure. <laughs> a mixed adventure of what was going on. Um, 
that's uh more of those. Nope. Well and two. Ooh, let's let's make some mittens. I'm smitten with the mittens. Yeah, let's let's do that. Let's make an, one more. We'll make one more. Okay. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Okay, four inches wide. Fold these, get them pressed. Okay, get this out of the way. Press this set. I like the mittens. The mittens are cute. And they don't take very long at all. See, we've been at this for a couple hours, and like I say, you get your stuff all prepped. Get your, your pieces cut and, and ironed and pressed and ready to rock and no time at all. You'd have like 10 Christmas ornaments. And it's nice to use fabric. Maybe it's not your favorite. It's not your favorite for Christmas. I'll fold it up. Nobody's going to give a hoot anyways. It's just a bunch of pretty colors. So. Fold that on itself, right into your previously creased line. Right. I always find it easier to do the top and then the, or the bottom, one side first and then the other, and then it's like trying to fight with both fabrics at the same time. One. Congratulations to all the winners and all your goodies. The winner of the day was definitely the green fabric. So three wanted the green fabric and one wanted a panel of the fractured and the other one wanted the purple one. So fantastic. Fantastic. What awesome, awesome little giveaways. Thank you everybody for hanging out with us. Appreciate you and your time that you give us. I'm just hanging out in the chat. You don't gotta say much. Appreciate you. You know, people are busy and they rewatch and or watch later and they got things going on. So it's nice just to have a you know, conversation in the background going on. One crazy talking to another. <laughs> Me, myself, and I, we're so busy these days. <laughs> kidded. Sorry? Am I? Am I really kidded? I don't know. You tell me. None of them both know. Oh, 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 oh. I know what I want to talk about today. I'm glad I remembered before the end of the day. I would have been mad at myself. Okay. I came across... Um, a comedian, um, a good, good, clean comedian. I'm always looking for those because, uh, you know, I don't, I don't mind me some Eddie Murphy raw every now and again, but, you know, um, calm down, right? Um, her name is Leanne Morgan. It's of the Dry Bar Comedy, and she's, she's a southern girl. She's got her babies. She loves her babies, and she lives in the south. <laughs> she's adorable. I don't know if anybody's heard of her, but if you need a laugh, go look her up. Leanne, L-E-A-N-N-E, -N -N -E, maybe? Uh, Morgan, uh, a lovely, tall, southern blonde girl. So if that, that's the right way. And dry, dry, 
hold on. Dry bar humor, or dry bar um, of the, 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 the uh, comedy. Oh, is Ellie going? Thanks for the time. Okay, bye. See you. It's allowed. <laughs> Not the green. <laughs> gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha. Hmm? Oh, okay. Ah, okay. So I thought she was leaving. I was like, oh, oh. She's got things to do, people to go, places to go, people to see. Come on, flip in here. Uh, Beatrix just joined. Hello, Beatrix. <laughs> Very nice. Congratulations. What's the comedian's name again? Leanne Morgan. Maybe pipe, a pop will type it in the chat. No, we won't. Okay. So. <laughs> Uh, wrong. <laughs> she's really f funny. I really liked her. Oh, I love her. She's like, okay, Sandra knows her. Okay. Yeah, Sandra, she, she's super, she, just down to earth funny. I love how she's, she talks about her daughters being a mean girl and that she, she, she understands why the Lord um, does what he does when they're in their teenage years and, you know, and they're like so grumpy to get along with and, you know, you can't do anything right. You can't say anything right. You can't even breathe right, whatever. And, um, I just like her whole like thought on it of why, why, why he makes the, you know, the daughters all mean, you know, it just looks funny. Mm -hmm. I'm hanging uh, in with my nails till the very end. <laughs> Love you, troopers. Okay, now fold it this way. Fold it this way. Fold it this way. Fold it this way, but tuck it under the last one. Okay, or the first one, depending on what you're talking about. Okay, and then tug, 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 tuggity tug, tuggity tug, tuggity tug, tuggity tug. Okay, now we start making our corners. Okay, so folding this back upon itself, making a little point, flipping it this way, measuring it up, just needs a wee little trimmings, and then tuck it in the spot, the little pocket right underneath, okay? There. Do the next one up here. I tried to work on one at, the t at a time just on the right hand side of it uh, and then I flip and do the other four okay you can do them all as you go around in a clockwise or counterclockwise uh, way but this is the way I do and tuck in here folding back point on itself folding this way towards oneself Trimming off just the extra little bits. You just want to go as deep as one colored square. Okay. Right here. Pull a little tug. There. Fold it. Pretty little triangle. Line her up. Snip her off. Tuck her in. All right. So that's four done. Okay. A little, maybe a little. Tuggy tuggy there. Oops. Okay, now we'll flip it and do the same on the right hand side. Okay. Yeah, we have an address. Oh, you mean our mailbox? Yes, we did. We did. We. Oh, what do you mail from internet? I'm confused. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right, discussion later. 
Uh, four. Four by 17, Chloe. But you end up uh, clipping some off. Yeah, you end up trimming up. I'd rather trim some off than not have enough, right? Blonde lady will check out. Yeah, 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 exactly, Cynthia. You got her. She, a good laugh. A good, a good laugh, you know, and a, a nice, good, clean laugh. And she's so, she's so honest about it. I love it when she said, when my middle baby went off to university, I took to the bed. <laughs> I don't know what it was about. She said she started bar, bar, watch, binge watching, I think it was Scandal and eating chocolate covered blueberries or something. I don't know what it was about it. It just made me laugh. It just made me laugh. <laughs> there we go. And super easy. See, really, that doesn't take very long. Once you got everything prepped and ready to rock, you got yourself. No, this one could be refolded, though. Like I said, a little, little glue, if you want to, keep, keep it all together. Mm -hmm. All right. Isn't it pretty? Isn't it pretty? Got little mittens. You can see a bird. And got a little, yeah. I think it's just mittens and birds, wasn't it? Mittens and birds and mittens and birds. That's perfect. Nice big size. Nice good size to put on any present. Give as a gift to somebody, a couple of them. So. Exactly. Uh, I like Janine. Rob, or Jeannie Robinson, Robertson, sorry, is a comedian. Sally, she passed away. Oh, clean and very funny. Oh, I'll have to look her up there, Kathy Kay. I like something we can talk about, right? Are you live most Saturdays or just random? No, most Saturdays. Yeah, we've been gone, we were gone for a couple weeks because we moved. So we moved uh, three provinces away. My kids would absolutely roll in the car and still quote him from time to time. Good old Brian Regan. I'll have to look him up too. Anybody have any questions about this project? Anything at all? We made, we made a few today. What do we have? We had, I think we had three done before stream, and we've made five on stream. So, there we go. Some pretty ones. Make long strings, short strings, any kind of string strings. Different colors together. I, it's, I, if you're going to do them as a gift for somebody, definitely pick their favorite colors. You know, they like purples and get like three purples and make three purple ones, right? So, because they could hang this from their bathroom mirror or in the in their car off off the the rear view or something like that. There's many things people could do with this, right? So, and if you really want it to stay secure and you want somebody to use it, like on a, like put it on a keychain or or something like that, then you can always just um, glue. G glue, glue in some spots, right? So, okay, what's that? You have a visitor. Should go together once you get that. Well, that's it. It's just a matter of the folding, right? So, thanks, bud. How, how's your nap? That's good. I it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Snoring away as we're leaving the house. <laughs> you come up to, here. Uh, seem to let you know that dinner's ordered. Oh, nice. Yeah. Sweet. Last time we, oh, the, the first time we ordered takeout here, it took two hours and 10 minutes to get here, and they're only like seven minutes down the road, 10 minutes down the road. The delivery guy was having a, having a bad day, so. They have a bad day. It's pretty much at the beginning of the, the show there, Susan. It just, it, it's a three, uh, sorry, four strips of four inches wide, about 17 inches long. Then they're folded on themselves. And then fold it again, and it, they, it just matter of this and that and everything. So, hello everyone. Yeah, that's what these big ones turn out to be. So if you oh, do, are aren't they pretty? They turned out kind of nice. Eh? I saw you working on the test one earlier. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. This one wasn't it? 
Or that one. I don't remember. I think it was that plump one. The plump one? Yeah. Yeah. Because I say pink elephants always go with Christmas. Because <laughs> aren't they on parade? Pink elephants on parade. When you've had too many of these, pink elephants on parade. <laughs> <laughs> Disney would be cringing. Yeah. <laughs> Loving your new digs. Uh, what I've got right now is really nice for where I'm. For where I'm, where I've got my space. Uh, it is still a work in progress, uh, as a lot of things are. Uh, kind of finding that things move a little bit slower out here. Uh, but we were forewarned about that. Yes, we were. We just didn't quite expect it. <laughs> so. We were just about to say goodbye. Oh. Well, so I was waiting for questions, if anybody had any questions. But then you come all in. Yeah. <laughs> come all up in here. Stand streaming up there. Yeah. <laughs> Are you planning a show on for 2022? Um... That's a very good question. I think one of you guys were supposed to plan that. Not it. <laughs> I, not I it. said not it, so it's not me. <laughs> I think it was your turn, actually. We'll see. Yeah. Lots of plans. Lots of plans, lots in the motion. Much more laid back, says <laughs> Quinny. <laughs> Definitely. I might get 2022's plan done by 20. Yeah, the next year. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no worries, Susan. No, sorry. There is no so. It's just a matter of folding. Um, you can um, do this with paper as well as fabric. So there's also that. If you didn't have fabric, then you wanted to use a paper product or pro project to do with your family or grands or niece, nephews or whatever's or just family. Or just make for yourself because you just want to and they're cute and they're fun. So if you just had paper, then you could do it that way too. So, okay. Oh, I'm Chad Detective. It, it's being ordered. It's, it's, it's not here. Uh, there's a really nice little pizza place nearby that, uh, well, the delivery took a while last time. It was really <laughs> good. No, no, no worries, aren't you? No worries. No worries. We got time. We got time. Just wanted to make sure if there was any questions, I could at least try and answer them. So, okay. And thanks for the um, testers on the Facebook uh, page earlier today to help us with tweaking the some of the colors of the camera. We just forgot about the microphone part. <laughs> so, whoops. <laughs> That's okay. We're learning. We're learning. <laughs> Lily's mama says hello. Lots of people say hello. I uh, didn't find your email yet, so many Black Friday sales. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Hey, Mom, can't wait to see what y'all use on your different colors of Velcro. Yeah, me too. <laughs> I've got plans. Uh, no, nothing yet, Sylvia. Nothing yet. I had, I had a very uh, bad uh, belly week. So thank you, Ruth. Welcome to Nova Scotia. Thank you very much. Been here three and a half weeks, and we love it already. So it's just really windy here. Wealth is the long arm. He has his own name. He cost me so much money, I had to name him. So, yes, Walt. Mm, soothing, just listening to Is that why Thank I you. got named? Uh. <laughs> yes, your, your cock was foreshadowed. It's. <laughs> on your name. Uh. That's funny. That's funny. So, what do you think was the most chosen today out of panel one, panel two, fabric one, or fabric Green. two? Oh. I was watching. Ah, he's a sneaky bug. <laughs> sneaky bug. Okay. It, it, it's a really hard choice, though. These are all amazing. They are pretty. I, I love the fractal design. Me too. And all the stuff you can do with it, too. That whole big uh, b uh, bag I but need, too. But I, I can see the kind of scene that you can make with the purple. And the green is just a lovely fabric. They turned out really nice, didn't they, Nancy? They turned out really nice. Uh, make sure anybody who hasn't set, who has won and didn't send their email yet, make sure you do it. You do it, you do it, you do it, okay? 
We can't mail it to you if you don't send us the information. I know I missed, I missed the Wednesday videos too, people. I do. It's just going to take a little time to get her back up. You like the stars? Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Just easily folded. I'm so disappointed in the choices. <laughs> <laughs> There's at least two I don't like. <laughs> they got green in them. <laughs> <laughs> Would you prefer the purple panel over the other panel? That I had mail well, you won the last time because if you would prefer the purple panel, I'd, I'll send that to you for the second for the for to trying to get you your panel to you. You want the green? No. <laughs> it's because you guys wanted to put green in the package. That's why it disappeared. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. Big hugs to everybody. Thank you very much for joining me today and celebrating my 50th birthday, which was yesterday. We're excited. We're really, you know, just excited to be here and, you know, experience our first Christmas here and just getting used to things and settling and unpacking and not trying to feel rushed. It was a lot of rush, rush, rush getting up to the move and the move and getting here and in the past couple of weeks of trying to get stuff unpacked. But now it's just, you know, the boxes are around. We're dealing with them. If we need something, we go looking for it. Other than that, it's just a little bit chill, relax. We got, we got, we got time. It ain't going nowhere. So. Yeah, 90% exactly. of my stuff is still in boxes. <laughs> <laughs> no, no pineapple. <laughs> yeah. Love the purple tree. Okay, then that's what it is, Miss Sass. I will send you that one instead of the other panel. And I'll let you know when I mail it and the tracking number because I am really disappointed the other one didn't get to you. So. Never know. It might appear someday. Oh, someday. All for the rainbow. <laughs> uh, I, if you wanted one there, Lily's Mama, yes, you can uh, message us at the info at wesoa.ca. I'll, I'll happily mail you off one. Okay. Fifteen Canadian. Thank you. Fifteen, fifteen Canadian. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. We'll see you all. I'm showing them our Christmas ornament we made like 22 Aww. years ago. You remember this now? That the hard the, the we we glued it like glue glued it because <laughs> we didn't know any better that there was heat and bond probably. Yeah, I was showing off our little ornament. Did I say I did? A long time. I, I remember the ornament. I don't quite remember making it. You were it so little. Yeah, you were little. You were little. I was trying to, uh, Allison was asking, because I think I said it was like 20, 22 years old. And I'm like, it's got to be about 22 years old, because you were like maybe three or four when we made it. So, yeah. Super cute. It's got glue, like serious glue on it, too. But it did have enough sense to fold the tip of the star down and stitch, so it looked like that. I mean, hey, <laughs> not bad. Not <laughs> bad. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, go ahead there, Karen Little. Go ahead, same, same message, uh, the info at we sew it, and I, 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 we will arrange something for you guys, okay? Mm, yes, thank you, everybody. Have a fantastic weekend. Thank you for joining us today. We appreciate it. Hope you're getting into the Christmas spirit. We're going to hopefully set up our Christmas tree sometime this week, in the, and we'll put it in the house. We'll put it in the house. We can set up some other decorations out here. So. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Oh, that's right. I forgot. Munch. They left one here. They left a tree here. I have a tree. Yes, well, you have I a don't tree. need a tree, though. <laughs> Keep celebrating all weekend. We'll do. Okay, big hugs, everybody. If you have any questions, leave it below, and we'll see you soon. Bye. Bye. Thanks for having a starry adventure with us. A starry time. A starry adventure was last week. All right. That is cool. <laughs> <laughs> We need a lot of stars today. We need stars.